chairman of the company. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the executive chairman of MSC Cruises, Mr. Pierfrancesco Vago. Your Excellency Sheikh Hin bin Tamad Al Thani, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies, guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to share this special evening with you and thankful for the opportunity to celebrate together MSC World Europa's name here in Doha. We appreciate your help, support, and generosity which has allowed us to be here today. In return, we are glad to support you as you prepare to host the world's most important sports competition. The Brandon Ship will host football fans for the duration of the tournament, but the mission of this shores will continue well beyond that. Above all, tonight we celebrate our partnership with Qatar and its people. As this vessel becomes a window for the world to discover this incredible country, protecting the environment and supporting sustainable development are at the, front, at the forefront of Qatar's priorities. Just like you, our group has placed climate change at the forefront of this agenda. We are committed to reaching net zero carbon cruising by 2050. With every ship that we build, we drive the development of low carbon technology. And MSC World Europa is definitely our most innovative vessel. She's the world's best performing cruise ships in terms of CO2 emission per guest, running on LNG, the cleanest fossil fuel, and of course, Qatar, most renowned export. Above all, with this vessel, we are testing a, a solid oxide fuel cell technology that offers a pathway to produce hydrogen fuel from LNG, an incredible achievement. And this will bring us even closer to net zero emission. Distinguished guests, dear partners, actually, may I say, finally, dear friends, we are honored to work together to develop the future, together as a company, as a family. As a family company, like we saw before, our capacity to nurture long-term partnership is unparalleled. Tonight, we have the honor of having Diego Ponte here with us, our group president and CEO. MSC Cargo Ships have served your ports for more than 25 years. We have proven our commitment to supporting Qatar's economic diversification, which is guided by Qatar National Vision 23rd, as set by His Highness the Emir. And of course, to further develop this Qatar's profile as a global tourism destination. Qatar has a wonderful tourism offering to meet a huge variety of interests and array of destinations. A beautiful natural environment such as the sand dune at the Inner Sea at the Alta Kira Mangrove Forest. And a groundbreaking cultural offering which includes the National Museum of Qatar and the Museum of Islamic Art. In 2016, MSC Fantasia became the first major cruise ship to call at Doha. We have been a reliable partners ever since through the good times and the bad, I must say. And today, we renew our commitment to Qatar by homeporting our most modern and innovative ships in Doha. This obviously would have not been possible without the support of many Qatari partners and friends. First and foremost, I thank His Highness, 
the Emir for his long-term vision to develop Qatar and its tourist economy. A very special thanks goes to Her Excellency Sheikh Ayyid bin Hamad Al Thani, who will shortly cut the ribbon to name our new vessel. This is a unique role in our tradition as is usually fulfilled by a member of a family. Your Excellency, we are honored that you have accepted to perform this duty. I was uh, inspired to meet you and discover that we hold uh, shared values about the need uh, to protect our planet and humanity's well-being. Thank you. Your Highness, I will definitely look forward even more to a fruitful partnership together. The Deputy Amir His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani has made a priceless contribution to our group's development in this country, having been at the center of our activities in Qatar from the very beginning. I also want to thank the Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Abdulaziz Al Thani, for his support, which helped to make all of this possible. Thank you. I'm also grateful to the Minister of Transport, His Excellency, Mr. Jassim bin Saif bin Hamed al Sulaiti. May I call him a friend, a dear friend, that really helped and pushed me all the way. So I want to thank you for the continuous support received, even when things were difficult. And sincerely, I want to thank His Excellency Hassan Al Tawadi. Secretary General of the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you for having believed in us from the very beginning. Thank you. <laughs> Last but not least, our home port in Operation Dog would have never taken off without, obviously, Qatar Airways, our partners. For this, I want to thank personally Qatar Airways Group Chief Executive and Chairman of Qatar Tourism, His Excellency Minister Akbar Al Baker, for the support that we always receive. Even during the pandemic, you stayed by our side. Thank you, dear friend, for our partnership and for making this celebration possible. We are here thanks to you. And most importantly, We have a lot of work ahead of us. So before I finish, I want to send one last word of gratitude to all the international friends, partners, travel advisors, and media gathered here with us today. I hope that you really all are enjoying this opportunity to discover and learn more about this beautiful country. Thank you for being with us.